Welcome back, everybody. If you're watching us on KUM TV 8 or on YouTube, I'm Jason Salas. I am joined in studio now by a true island icon, Arlene Santosteffi, whose life's work has been to communicate, to chronicle, to document, and to help us understand our history. And Arlene, dare I say, through your work over the last three years and three seasons, three <laughs> which, seasons. which we'll get into very, very mm -hmm. shortly, uh, there's been a little bit of misunderstanding about exactly who we are as a people and what, what our history has been. And, and you've kind of taken it as your own mission to help um, provide better context for exactly what we went through as a people. Well, that's what it started out as. For me, it was a private study. I mean, every time I heard something said about the Chamorro people, or uh, I, it, was, it seemed to me that everybody had a different opinion about it. And so I just decided I'm going to start interviewing these scholars who made it their business and kind of like a one-on-one -on -one, as I wrote in my article on Sunday and it and then it eventually became a program because Sabrina after Ben Blas died you KUM ran all these different vignettes and everybody wanted more and so Brie brought it up to Marie Marie contacted me and it took us two years but we're now in our third season and as you will learn from watching the series and then of course reading the features in the post starting today with Carlos Madrid mm. the reason for the apparent misunderstanding and I'm going to quote that apparent because how you view something and how, how I view something as we're viewing it uh, and how we reinterpret that later or re, uh, retell it it's all based on how you and I see it, how we were raised. There's a, a lot of different things that come into play in the recounting or interpreting of an event. Either what I was told in school by my teachers whom I trusted or by, mm -hmm. you know, uh, older generation. And, and they were like, like, listen, this is the way things were. And, you know, at, at that age, you know, you have no right. you have no ability to question or to challenge. Right. And, you know, you have no reason to. And sometimes your motive, right? Yeah. And I mean, you found an academic way to, to actually like kind of like odd, challenge right? and dispute that. <laughs> yeah, I, there was a, it was a, it was all by accident. I mean, of course, media, mass comm is, is my specialty, but because I, I do like academics and I do, I do fascinate when they talk. I, I just, I just sit there and, and look at them and I'm listening to every single word and digesting it. And I want to sit, sit there and tear it all apart and that's the opportunity I got when I asked him can I sit with you you know I heard you talking about this can you explain this to me would you mind an interview and, well, of course not now it wasn't always that way at the beginning it they, they hesitated at the beginning academic people or academia are very you know skittish about it's their research and they don't want anybody to know what they're doing that really is the reputation on the line that you're, it is yeah. it and is. although although you're not trying to be Mm -hmm. a revisionist historian no. and, and you know you're certainly not trying to like destroy somebody's reputation everything like that you sought the truth because your background is in journalism exactly and it's odd because they're all telling the truth it's just that telling different angles of the truth or things that they are interested in and or maybe they have an agenda or a bias or whatever and I'm not talking about the human imperfection bias I'm talking about they're trying to prove something um, they're either a priest and they want to connect with you and they, you know, people know that if you're, if you are culturally sensitive or if you speak the Chamorro language, we are at a time in our, in our history where that's a really big deal. So if I want to re get really close to you, I'm going to show you that I can speak Chamorro, you know, if I want to impress you. And some people do that. Other people really genuinely want to learn how to speak the language. It's not an easy thing to do if you've been speaking English all your life. I learned because I became a Jehovah's Witness and I wanted to teach to old people. And when I would go to their house and knock on the door, the house is silent. When I speak English, nobody answers. But when I started saying, half a day, oh, mm. then you start hearing stirring. And it's because people can't deny yours. They can't deny who you are. You're one of them. Mm -hmm. So there are different reasons for doing things. Well, mine certainly was to learn. I just have an insatiable desire to learn things and I don't necessarily need to be the expert of it once I figure it out I'm on something else now <laughs> hindsight being 2020 as, as we come up and let you know I'll yeah give you so you can hold it it's a three DVD set which will be available very very soon mm -hmm. hopefully within days of this airing um, we're very very proud of you we're very Thank proud to you. be a partner um, it's amazing work um, first of all where can people find this well this is going to be debuted uh, at uh, Punta Dos Amantes mm -hmm. on June 1st and um, it is a co-sponsorship with KOM and, and The Post because I have a Sunday column in The Post. And so 
I spoke to Marie and to Mindy, mm -hmm. and it was ju it's just a natural tie. I mean, in, in 1979, when I was writing for the, for the Pacific Daily News and a talk show host at KFT7, I approached them to cross-promote, and of course, back then, it's like, no, we don't do that. Mm -hmm. You're a commodity here, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> not on our airtime. It's, we gotta get over that. You know, it's, it, there's nothing exclusive. We need to help each other. And, and you've hit for the cycle now. You've covered all four. I've <laughs> done it all. All man. four properties. I've done so. it all. But June 1, uh, we're gonna release it from six to nine. And of course we invite uh, the general public. This is only two of the three mm -hmm. because we're currently on KOM uh, Channel 8 on Sunday night, yep. 6.30 with 3. Okay. So that won't come out until October. Now again, uh, hindsight being 2020, as I was saying, if mm. you were going to do s anything differently about the way you've approached this material, the conclusions that you've since drawn, the feedback that's ensued and everything like that through your work, um, what would you do differently and would you would you even do anything differently? Or, Absolutely or has, not. Has has the juice been worth the squeeze? Oh, it's been more than worth the squeeze. And the and and you know, Anne Hattori's feature comes out on Wednesday, and I think she said it best. She said, "It is you, who you are, whether you're a scholar, whether you're a, a, a what academic historian, whether you're just somebody that in the family that knows everything about the genealogy of the family. The only thing that matters, Jason, is what they think." of your work. Mm -hmm. That's what makes your work great. So the dedication that you put in your work, the, the, the extra time, and, I, and I, I get really hungry when I'm listening to somebody. I will sit there for hours because I want them to develop what they're saying. And then from there, you take that and fold that. And I have a great editor in, in Fressy, uh, Tidegui. She has to listen to every single interview. And if one interview is three hours long, she can't cut anything until she listens to it mm -hmm. because she needs to know what that person's saying before she starts cutting. And that's how I do my work. It's, it's very difficult, very okay. hard. Well, congratulations once Thank again. You very and much. I know we certainly are far from done with your work and everything like that. And this is truly a passion of yours. So we look forward to seeing what you Thank produce. Thank you. You get to keep this because you are in do season it. one okay. with me. Thank you very much. You're I remember welcome. that. That was a very memorable yeah. time. Thank you. So you are going to help me now to be able to take the next step and that's put it in digital. All right, everybody. Format. So June 1st, this is going to be at Punta del Semantes, Two Lovers Point. For those of you who remember it by that name, June 1st is the date. We'll also make sure that Arlene gets on iTunes and on Amazon. Stay tuned. Thanks. We're back after this.